I'm Jerry Reynolds, the Car Pro, and welcome to another edition of the Automotive News in Two Minutes. At the beginning of the SUV craze, drivers of those high-profile vehicles faced the biggest risk of a fatal crash due to rollovers. Now, according to the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, SUVs are among the safest vehicles on the road today. The report credits electronic stability control technology for preventing rollovers. And with that risk gone, the sheer size and weight of an SUV makes them great protection for the occupants inside. With that said, the two safest cars on the road today, according to this report, are in the luxury class, the Audi A6 and the Mercedes-Benz E-Class. Now, speaking of luxury sedans, this is the Acura RL. I've had the chance to run it through the paces all week. So let's start with the cons, because that's a really short list. I wish the 3.7 liter V6 put out about 50 more horsepower than it does. But with that said, it still feels like more power than the 300 horsepower rating would suggest. Now, some may feel the ride and handling of an Acura is too harsh. I'm not one of those people, though. I love the super handling all-wheel drive system. When you floor this car, it literally squats and just goes. But here's what I like most. This car is extremely quiet. Acura goes to amazing lengths to ensure that there's no road noise, no wind noise. Literally, it's hard to hear anything that's happening outside of the car. For me, it's a beautiful car that should be on your list if you're looking for a luxury sports sedan. Now, when it comes to green cars, two newcomers are literally starting to slug it out for their share of the market. The all-new electric Nissan Leaf and the plug-in electric hybrid Chevy Volt. Chevy fired the first shot in a rivalry with a television commercial about preparing an electrical socket for powering your car, but subtly likening the electric Nissan Leaf to a leaf blower. Nissan countered with an ad that suggested the Volt is a lot like trying to power all sorts of everyday appliances with gasoline. Neither company will admit to attacking the other, but both ads are generating a lot of interest, and both these car companies want you to spend your green on their green cars. Catch me on the radio Saturday in Houston, San Antonio, Austin, Los Angeles, Sacramento, Lubbock, and Dallas, Fort Worth. Check the website, carproshow.com, for showtimes and details. I'm Jerry the Car Pro. Hope you have a great week.